Nebraska on tap, the source for everything educational and informational about groundwater in agriculture. If you are an ag producer or a citizen of Nebraska, this show is made for you by the Middle Republican Natural Resource District. Now it's time for our weekly show, hosted by Heather Disming. Welcome to this week's episode, Technical Reboot in the Future of the Technology that Keeps Us Going. Every time we get a chance at this NRD we will get invested with things that benefit the best interest of the producers and the basin population. This week we talked to Longitude 103 out of Scottsbluff, Nebraska. This company is producing an application aka app for the state involving the evolution of the communication between the producers and the local NRD. Time to tune into that interview with Heather and Thad. All right, well, I am Thad Kuntz. I am a professional geologist and a hydrogeologist um, that is part owner of two different companies. One is Adaptive Resources, Inc., which is our consulting company. We do water resource consulting. And a Longitude 103, um, where I am basically part owner and sales. I'm the sales guy for Longitude 103 uh, for the NRD app and uh, now Producer Connect app. Awesome. Yes. And um, so we have brought that in today because we do have the NRD app. And so if you go to his, the web page, Longitude 103, you can go to the about the middle and it says NRD app. But however, there are no username and logins for producers right now, right? Correct. Yeah. And even, you know, right now, actually, the, the app is the NRD app. That is an NRD staff only app. Producer Connect, which is a going to be a feature of this app will be an addition to it where the producers can come in, log in, see their data, and look at what the NRD has in their data side. The producers can see that data. They can see for Middle Republican, for instance, having all the telemetry flow meters. They can see their most recent flow meter read, uh, at least from the last 12 hours. Um, and so that will be available coming up here. We're just kicking off developing this thing um, right now, we just got everything kind of ready to go. We're just working on that. And so producers will be able to come in, sign up with the NRD and sign in to look at that. Yeah. And right now, if anybody did want to download it, there is like a little demo. So you can just kind of see some of the things that will be there, um, that these guys have been working on. And your brother's been the programmer, right? Correct. Yeah. My brother, Heath Coons is my business partner. We both own half the company. Uh, each and uh, he's the programmer or the lead programmer and then we have a whole bunch of other programmers that work for us as well uh, as as to create this uh, NRD app and producer connect so um, you worked for the NRD you just told me a little bit ago um, so can you tell me about your early interaction with the NRDs in Nebraska sure yeah so I started working for the NRDs I started working as a joint employee between North Platte NRD and South Platte NRD I worked for with those two entities. I, I was out of Scotts Bluff. I'm still out of Scotts Bluff, but I worked out of the North Platte NRD office, but as a joint employee with South Platte. And I worked, did that for about five years. And I, I, I was a, a hydrogeologist, a groundwater modeler, which I still do all that same stuff. I'm just doing under my company for those two NRDs and for a bunch of other NRDs in the state. Um, but then uh, I did that for a long time, got very familiar with the NRD systems. Uh, system and um, and now we've expanded throughout the state. Uh, we created a small company called Adaptive, Re Adaptive Resources Inc. Um, and then so now we do water consulting across the state. And then in about 2017, we created Longitude 103 um, when there was a need. We've seen a need for a, a, a whole a really nice data system within Nebraska for the NRDs. And uh, North Platte NRD was the first one that took off and said, hey, we would do this with you um, uh, for uh, cr having us create this app for them. And, and after a while, we just named it the NRD app. Um, and so uh, and, and they were basically the, the original architect for it, or at least the original vision was for North Platte NRD with the longer term vision being able to go to other NRDs after we developed it once and then mold it and make it to useful for every NRD across the state. Yeah, well, it's kind of nice you gave up on them so you could help us all out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, and, and now we're up to 17 NRDs, I believe, wow. uh, of, of work, 
they use the NRD app all across the state um, for this from Omaha all the way to Scott's Bluff. Yeah. So, well, your brother was here giving us all a little demo um, in July. And wow, it's just it's going to be great, um, especially yeah. with the pooling. Because there's a, you know, that big gap with that. Um, and that's variable every year on right. what the producers do. So that's really, really nice. And then, um, so when you were up in the Central Platte doing all of this and you you saw this need for the producer and data for the mapping and everything like that. And then um, what are your future hopes for this app with the water um, conservation and the farm management aspect. Well, Producer Connect really is kind of that bridge between what the NRDs understand and understand about producers, right? And having the producer's information and being able to manage that and dealing with, in a lot of parts of the state, the um, uh, allocations that are out there or the water quality issues that are out there. The Producer Connect is that next step where the producers will be able to like I said earlier, would be able to come in, see their own data. And then one of the major pieces, there's two kind of branches with that, you know, is water quantity, which uh, Middle Republican deals with a lot of entities deal with it. But then there's the water quality side of things with the nitrate management. And so by having the producers be able to see their nitrogen management and nitrogen information, they can make smarter decisions, hopefully, and understand. And, and, and we, we're going to build this app to help them understand by applying less fertilizer and looking at their whole fertilizer, whole nitrogen picture, what's in the soil, what's in the water, um, what manure they may apply, what um, legume credits, you know, from alfalfa or from, from beans um, they would have coming back in the soil, what their overall management could be for nitrogen. So that's one piece and, and, and then a recommendation on here's how much nitrogen you, should, you, you can apply. But on the water quantity side and, and, and middle, a middle Republican here is leading this charge quite a bit of bringing all the telemetry meters and being able to understand your irrigation on a hourly, you know, or at least 12 hour by 12 hour basis really can help producers understand how much water they're using. And if they compare that with things such as soil probes and information such as that, they can start understanding how to manage their farm or or we get a portal so they can see all that data all together and help manage their farm operations better, uh, both nutrient and quantity of water uh, water delivery. Having this will be a great aspect for that, for when they're fertigating for that last little, you know, push on their, on right. their farms to get things going. Um, it will be nice to see this. So I'm just going to kind of go um, through just some of the demo things. So you have the pooling on here. You have the flow meter, the flow meter serial, the chemigation point, which will be nice, right. um, especially for everybody who forgets which area they're chemigating on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll be able to see it on a map. I mean, that's yeah, the thing is they can look like a pulp a map of their uh, if that landowner would log in with their name and we have them under with all their their different parcels that they farm, they'll be able to see all the different chemigation points and be able to go in there. And it, right now, the Producer Connect is thought to basically just bring up the what chemigation points they have and then they can fill out the chemigation application or at least print it out and fill, print it out and fill it out then and spring it back to the NRD with future hopes of that can all be done digitally through the app and through your smartphone or through a website that you can go to. I'm sure a lot of people are turning up the volume to see if they heard that right. right. Because, <laughs> you know, it's just been physical, you know, all these years and right. stuff like that. So that will be nice for you guys to figure out where your locations are. Okay. <laughs> so, sorry not to razz. Um, and then you have retirements in here, which I'm assuming is for like wells that are retired, right? Yeah, yeah. So okay. some, some entities retire land. And so the entities want to track what's retired. Sometimes they're a temporary retirement. So it's like a temporary, take it off the books for a little bit. Don't irrigate. You know, the entities can take some of that credit for consumptive use, you know, by paying the farmers not to irrigate for a while. Happens in certain NRDs around the state, mostly in the West where the water quantity is an issue. Right here. And then it's awesome too. They also have the well registration number guys. So yep. Yeah. And so you'll know your well number. Yep. And, and that'll be the the NRDs see that right now. Push will be able to see their wells and, and what well registration numbers those are. So the, the, the other nice thing about the producer connect is if, if a farmer comes into the NRD and needs to discuss something, you know, whether it's chemigation, whether it's a new well or a replacement well, or whether it's, I don't know if you guys do transfers in this NRD, some NRDs do transfers depending on what okay. it is. NRD, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but 
you guys will all have the same language. You could speak the same language then. Everybody has the same information in front of them because what the Producer Connect is going to see and the producers are going to see from Producer Connect is going to see the same information the NRD staff sees. So the producer will have the same information can come in and when they talk to you guys, it's going to be so much more efficient to be able to say, this is the tract, this is where I want to go, or this is what I'm trying to do, this is the pooling I want to do, and already have all the data involved in that already. Right, so, everybody's on that same page. Yep, yep. And it's nice, too, guys, you can put to-dos in here for your workers <laughs> yeah, or yourself, right. whatever you need. That's right. A little mini secretary. That... That's right, yeah. We have a to-do feature in there, so that way, and it's mainly for, for NRD personnel. We see how it works out in Producer Connect, but yeah. it's like uh, if the NRD is to go out and test a, a well or or uh, take a water sample or do a water level measurement or fix a flow meter or whatever, there's a to-do thing in there. Okay. Um, to be able to project me. So just for us right now. Yeah, all right. just the NRDs, yeah. You'll still have to <laughs> well, next year hired hand and yell at him. We'll see how this all works out for a producer connection. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice too, because I see that your map is Google Maps, which is nice. And then uh, it's just very crisp. And then you have it, everybody layered out into their different basins. Right, yeah, it's actually um, it's actually Mapbox is what it's called. Mapbox? Yeah, okay. it's Mapbox. And and in that, if you if you go if you go in tight enough, it'll actually... Yeah, it was very uh, It actually goes into the latest NAIP image, which is... Is the that that high resolution color photo that the uh, the satellites fly about every two years from USDA, and so you get a very as up to date image as we can, and it's done on even years in Nebraska. So okay. every even year we'll have a brand new image. So twenty four will be this is a twenty two image. Once you get in far enough, then twenty four will be the next image. So unfortunately, we can't have that fast images, but we get it pretty darn quick. Every other year is a pretty fast image. Yeah, I mean this is this is really super super clear, and so. I mean, the only thing would be, yeah, if somebody knocked down some part that they didn't see or anything like that, you know, that'd probably be the only difference. So, and then um, moving forward, so like right now, this is only for NRDs. And then you guys, hopefully April is a launch date for your Producer Connect. So, yeah, right now we've kind of hammered out all the details uh, with that finally. So we're, our plan is uh, by January to have what we call alpha development, which means it's like internally tested by us. So developed with a first cut, internally tested, well, then we'll be able to say, okay, here's our first cut out of the NRDs. We'll get then some a, a look-see to see what it looks like. Um, and then uh, there could be some design tweaks at that point if we wanted to design things certain way or this way or that way. Um, and so we'll, then we'll incorporate those designs. Then we'll release what is called beta release, which will be kind of in that um, February, March time frame. And then that's when the NRDs start to test it. And then the hope is before June okay. is our hope. So at the at the latest, it'll be June. We're hoping for a bit earlier, probably in between May and June, I think is probably our good our best right. goal for that, which is a pretty fast development for a new product. Yeah, that is, especially um, especially going through all those phases, which, you know, something could happen and you have to call up your brother to fix a bug and right. program in his life away for 12 uh, hours. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and luckily, we have uh, other other staff okay. members that can help us with that, too. So we Give them a coffee break. We have, God, I think there's like six developers on staff. Okay. Besides, cool. So we have seven developers on staff. And they're all contractors, so they're a part-time right. kind of thing, but that's all the, our development team. Well, that helps make it go a little faster than, too, if right. we have all those minds working. Right, out yeah. Other, so. yeah. And we're going to do a lot of testing on Producer Connect to try to get it as good as possible. That the, We're going to do it in three different types of apps, a website, Site, okay. basically um a android and a ios or, or apple version of the app so we have smartphone apps tablet apps which are the ios or android versions uh for apple or, or android phones and then you'll have a website version as well so and, and a lot of times people you know if they have a website they may concentrate on that and not as much on the apps we're going to try to concentrate all three of them so that way every type of media that we can get to Producers can use it. So if they want to use for their smartphones, if they're more of a tech savvy smartphone user, they can use that easily. If they want to use it through their computer, their home computer, they can do it that way as well. So we want to be able to give them every form of communication or every form of um, apps that yeah. they can, whether it's website or that or that. One one other interesting piece um, is there's going to be a the NRDs themselves now will be through this app be able to push notifications to producers. So. As an NRD, if you have an announcement, say the board meeting is that night, the NRD could literally 
push that notification and it will show up on your smartphone ribbon saying there's an NRD board meeting tonight in Curtis at, I don't know what time, it's, it's in the afternoon. It's, uh, or, morning. Or morning. Like That's right. 9 a.m. every Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month. There you go. <laughs> so the NRDs can push out a, a, a a, a, a announcement say on Monday afternoon, hey, there's a board meeting at 9 a.m. Tuesday morning. And it'll show up in a ribbon and you can see it on your smartphone or you'll see it on the top of the app on the website. So we can push, not they call it push notifications into your system so the producers can see what's going on. There's been some discussion of NRCS programs and FSA programs being able to push notifications on, hey, these signups are happening, um, that kind of thing. So it's going to be interesting to see how that... It's Bit of a one-way communication, but at least the producers are very well versed of what's happening uh, on more of a digital platform. Yeah, and like right now, um, we are in a compact call year because we didn't meet compact with Kansas. So um, everybody is nickel and diming their water currently, especially because all of a sudden 100 degree heat was here. Right. Like, oh, you didn't have to go to Arizona for this, you know. And so, um, so I think that would be great, especially um, with a lot of people not not knowing that we were in a compact call year, and we try to be vigilant about pushing it out, but right. you know, everybody's got their phone in front of them. So right, and the NRDs do a great job trying to get data out there, but the more ways to get the word out to the producers, I think will be better um, yeah. for this, for these particular thing, for these particular um, like compact calls yeah. and, and programs or meetings or important dates or important deadlines, you know, commigation deadlines do, yep. you know, th those kind of things, you know, trying to get them, uh, trying to get, help the producers understand what's happening and just another way to manage their data and manage what's happening on their farm on day to day. Right. Because there is so much stuff going on all the time for right. those farmers that, I mean, they do need a personal secretary most of them. <laughs> I think the personal secretary would quit first. Just, just saying, guys. <laughs> um, so, I mean, anything else you kind of uh, want to talk about or let um, anybody in the area know? Well, that um, went on. Yeah. Well, that, that just the the producer connect is kind of the major feature here, and so that's coming out. Um, like I said, probably in early next year to to help help producers out as much as we can and help them understand their data and and uh, hopefully uh, be able, especially with you guys with your telemetry, that'll I think that'll play into a lot of farmers' decisions out there um, for that. So there's going to be a lot of good, good information, good things coming their way. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping in today. We really appreciate it. No problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Well, I won't let my friend Vince, the AI guy, finish off this episode. <laughs> I just made him start it. So anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed my interview with Thad there. So again, we have Producer Connect, which will be the farming side of the NRD app. And then we have the NRD app, which is going to be clearly for the NRD. So with both of those combined together working, we will hopefully have a very cohesive um, application for all of us to work on and expand the technology and the communication here in the district and in the state and um, make sure that everybody is really getting the best benefits out of those telemetry meters um, that they possibly can here in the Middle Republican Basin. Um, you know, water conservation is um, a big thing, especially right now where we have not gotten as many inches per year as we usually had. So I hope everybody has a beautiful rest of the week and I thank you for stopping by and spending 20 minutes of your day with us to learn a little bit about what's going on here at the Middle Republican NRD. So we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Remember to like and subscribe so you can be up to date with what is happening here at the Middle Republican NRD.